following breaking news from East Granby. A man is facing charges after a child brought two guns to an elementary school today. Channel 3's Bryant Reed has been following the story all night. He's live in East Granby with the details. Yes, and parents tell me that they're glad everybody is okay and safe, but there's still plenty of questions considering that they weren't notified until well after this incident happened. So now parents are coming to Channel 3 with questions and hoping to find out what happened at the school. Arrested but now out on bond is 32-year-old Kenneth Perriog. This evening, police say he's responsible for a child bringing two handguns that he owns to school at Allgrove Elementary in East Granby. The school sent out this letter notifying parents, but not everybody got it. We weren't notified right away. Um, you know, the rumor mill starts, pop, you know, pumping things out. Apparently it happened at 11 a.m. They never went into lockdown and we have procedures for th just this reason alone. Danielle Lawrence has a first grader at the school and she's filled with questions that the school hasn't given any answers to. They said that the child never talked about the guns, never showed them to anyone. But then how would the school have known to check the backpack? They want to know why we didn't go into lockdown, um, why we weren't notified right away when the incident occurred. I understand that there's privacy in respecting the, the, the open investigation, but at the same time, you know, we have kids in this school. It's, you know, Wednesday is the anniversary of Sandy Hook. I mean, this is sort of a, a big deal. She'd also like to know what kind of parent puts their kid and others in harm's way. Until she gets those answers, she's not sure if she wants to send her daughter back to school. They're six, they're seven years old. They're not packing their own backpacks and their own lunches in the morning. You know, I go through her backpack, make sure she's got her homework and her lunch and her water. So, the, you know, the fact that he was able to get out of the house with two guns in his bag is really alarming. According to state police, Periog has been charged with reckless endangerment and risk of injury to a minor. He's due in court three days before Christmas. Now, Lauren says that she is pleased with the arrest. However, as I mentioned, there's still more questions. And Channel 3 took those questions to state police, like what the relationship is between the student and Periog. They have not responded. We also asked the school system about the situation and what parents are wanting to know. They have not responded to us either. However, as soon as we get more details, we will make sure to keep you updated both on air and online with the latest. And he's Granby. I'm Brian Reed, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.